To complete a silicon bronze joint, we need a welding machine capable of performing that process. Most inverter synergic machines will have the settings for silicon bronze. So understanding the format of the machine before we start applying the molten wire to the joint, we need to go into some settings on the machine. So currently it's set on a synergic setting. So that means the amps and the wire automatically mix depending on the metal thickness that you've introduced into the program. So if we wanted to go manual, we push the top button in and it changes the whole thing to manual where you need to introduce the wire and the amps yourself. So adding wire to cool, reducing wire to heat or adding amps etc. So for silicon bronze we're better off on the synergic program. On the next column here it says FE, that means it's, to, it's programmed for steel. So if we hold this button in here, it gives us our options. So FE steel, SS stainless steel, AL aluminium, we're looking for the CUSI, that is the silicon bronze program. Once we get that, press that button again and it gives us the choice of two different wire diameters. Our preferred wire is 0.8, so that's already set there nicely for us. And then the next column down is the gas supply. So for silicon bronze, it's always 100% argon gas. So if we go into the gas selection, it's automatically programmed it for it. So the next step is programming the metal thickness that we're going to be welding. So 1.2 mil or 0.5 mil, things like that. Combine the different thicknesses together to come up with your total. So if we go into, go into 2.5 millimeters thick, it's going to give us 14.6 meters of wire per minute. So that's a lot of wire. With that, we need to then program our arc length. So you see the picture down here. The shadow inside that picture at the moment is undercut, which means that it has very deep penetration. So that's on positive six. We can wind this back to create buildup. So just a simple little adjustment, and we can get a footprint that builds up quite nice and high. So if you're laying brass down that's hollow through the middle, you need to change this dial just to increase the build slightly. And you can go right down to the negatives where you increase it dramatically. An interesting thing here is if we lay this to two millimeters, you'll see that there's 12.3 meters of wire per minute. That's on 0.8 wire. So if we change this back to steel, and we program it the same, change the gas to Argus Shield, which is argon and CO2. Now we program this for two millimeter thick steel, you'll see there's a dramatic decrease in the amount of wire that is applied to the joint. This gives you 5.7 meters per minute because of the fact it's a fusion process and not an adhesion process. So there's a dramatic difference of wire input. So from there, we can then go and start doing our practice joints on the leftover material or scrap material you have before you start doing silicon bronze on the vehicle. So we'll put that back to silicon bronze, 0.8 wire, argon gas, and we're ready to go. Just our metal thickness and we can start repairing the vehicle.